channel. Today I am doing something that has been much requested on my Instagram. Um, I have, in this time at home in isolation, bought my own gel nail kit um, and I posted some pictures of my home manicures and they got really great feedback and a lot of people have asked for me to do a little tutorial. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be creating this look, which I'm going to pop up just there on my Instagram. Um, what I've done, so I'm not here forever, is just taken off one nail on my already done manicure so that I can show you just how I did that one. Um, so hopefully this will be really quick and short and easy. So first of all, I feel like I should do a disclaimer. I'm not a nail technician. I've never done this before, apart from this. <laughs> um, and I've probably bought the cheapest products I could find, so they're not the best. Um, <laughs> And yeah, this is just a bit of fun really, um, I don't know if what I'm doing is correct, so please don't be horrible with me if I'm doing everything wrong. And yeah, it's just basically what I've learned from getting my nails done. Yeah. So firstly, I'm going to show you all the bits that you'll need. So I got this lamp from Amazon, um, and it came with loads of tools that have come in really handy, and these are two that I'm particularly enjoying using for the nail art. So those come with the lamp. I think the lamp was about £15. Then I ordered a top and a base coat. I think these were about £5. I chose them not because of the brand or reviews or anything, just because they were cheap and in the UK. Um, I didn't want to have to wait for weeks for something to get here. Um, some nail files, one that will do the shape and one that will bear the top of your nail. Um, I've cut out some little bits of tissue to make myself look all professional. You do need um, some alcohol wipes, well, they would help, um, but I don't have any and as we're in this current situation, got the perfect thing, hand sanitizer. So my mum and dad probably would go mad if they knew I was using all the hand sanitizer to give myself manicure, but anyway. Um, and then your colours. So these are the colours that I picked out. They were a lot smaller than um, when they turned up than I thought, but it's just a nice pastel pack. And this comes in this little box. Um, they're actually so small, like I don't think they're gonna last long. Um, but now I've had a play with it, I might invest in some better brands. Again, this was just cheap and I liked the colours and it was in the UK. Um, I think it cost about 15 pound. And yeah, it's the brand is called Beatles. I'm also going to show you another look here that I did, um, which is like the same vibes. Um, so yeah, you could also create that look from this technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is take make sure the shape of the nail is exactly how I want it, um, because I just did this the other day. Kind of is, um, but I'm just going to perfect it a little more because why not? I think with this pattern a rounded shape looks better than a square shape but obviously I also just never have a square shape because my nails sometimes snap at the sides. I feel like I'm going to get trolled for this video like you're doing everything wrong. Okay so then I'm going to take this one um, and make sure it's all smooth on the top. If you don't have gel nails normally like you've probably got a really smooth healthy nail anyway but if you do then I'm just going to use the roughest side to buff the surface where it's had a little bit of damage from the past nails. So just to get a really nice clean smooth surface. So once I've buffed the top I'm going to take the one that's a little less rough don't even know how to say it above than that and buff the top again with that one and then finally I'm going to take the one that's smooth and grey to just polish it up and make it nice and smooth and finished and ready to go. So that is my nail prepped and primed and now I'm going to just take one of these little tissues that I made to make myself feel professional and get some of my hand sanitizer and just Put that on the top of the nail to clean it. There you go. I feel like I did the wrong thing because <laughs> I'm going to be like this the whole time. I'm so sorry. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this, which is use this base coat and put on a layer of that onto the nail. Just 
So once I've painted that nail, I'm gonna pull it under the light to cure. Um, I think when I get a nail salon, they use 30 second intervals in the light, but I have been using 60 in this light because I actually feel like it's not as strong as theirs because I can feel the heat on theirs, but I can't really feel anything on this one. So just to make sure I've been doing 60 seconds. So that is the base layer done. If you've never had um, gel nails before, it is important to know that you shouldn't touch that now. Um, it's sticky. Basically, your nails are never ready to be touched or touch anything until the final finishing step. Next thing I do is to add the top coat, the finishing coat. Now, this might sound weird, but I learned this when I had nail art at my nail salon because if you do the top coat and you cure it so your nail is finished, then if you make a mistake with your nail so you can simply grab one of these and a little bit of your alcohol gel and wipe it off and then you're free to start again so i'm just using this top coat as part of the set with the base coat and i'm just going to paint it on exactly the same as i did with the base coat i actually find that the nail varnish goes on a lot nicer once you've done a base and a top coat anyway um like even if i was painting my full nails it goes on so much smoother for some reason but you are wasting a lot of time and top coat so now i'm gonna pop that back in for 60 seconds okay so now that we've done that we can touch it because it's done and i really like actually how that looks like if you are just wanting a really basic like french tip or something it just looks so nice and shiny and just like the perfect kind of cloudy nail color um so yeah definitely recommend like just using the base and the top coat even if nothing else okay so now it's time to get funky with the nail art. This is the colour that I'm using. It's just a lovely pastel yellow colour. So basically what I do is freehand um, just try and paint the end with this um, and then I perfect the shape with these tools. Um, gel nail varnish is a lot thicker than normal nail varnish and you really can just move it around with these things and always bear in mind to just go for it because you can just wipe it off um so yeah honestly just no fear so this is what we're working on so the first thing i'm going to do is get all of the excess off of the brush um i don't want to make it too dry but i don't want any big dollops falling on my nail and then I'm simply hoping you can see this okay. Maybe I should come a bit closer. Going to just paint on the ends. As you can see, I'm not like sweeping it across. I'm coming from the bottom and I'm using the shape of the brush to just make little progress movements onto the end of the nail and that's what we have so far i think that's coming along nicely i quite want it to like swoosh up that end but i don't want to do too much with this brush and ruin it so that is when we get a little pink tool that came with the light and just move it around i'm going to use the sharp end here and just try and pull it up at the edges so it's a really nice shape really nice clean cut points at the edge nice there 
so I'm just going to put that in the machine for 60 seconds again. Now we're at the point where you yourself have to decide whether you like this finished look or you want to maybe add um, another coat of the yellow over the top to make it a bit stronger and I don't think it needs it but for argument's sake I'm going to add another just to show you. It's quite easier to go just over the top I find once you've already got your line and you know that it's not that difficult yeah there you go I'm gonna cure that one now and then we're gonna do the final top coat I actually think that looks a little lumpy on the end you see that so I'm just gonna use a brush with nothing on it to just kind of smooth that out a little Okay, so now we are done with our yellow paint. We are just going to set it with the top coat. The final thing to do is put it in for 60 seconds. But yeah, this is now complete. I hope you like the finished look. Please show me your manicures on Instagram if you have a go at this because I would love to see them and share them. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope you found this help helpful and let me know if you're into this kind of thing again. So have a nice weekend. Bye.